Docker has become the standard for packaging and running applications in lightweight containers. Spring Boot, starting with version 2.3, has built-in support for Docker images, which makes it super simple to create those. Further, the images are built using the cloud-native build packs, where the default builder is optimized for a Spring Boot application. The image is also layered efficiently to provide further optimizations. In this video, we will look at this nice Spring Boot enhancement. Let's first quickly create a new Spring Boot project. Here, I have Spring Tool Suite running, which is a flavor of Eclipse. We will create a new project by going to File, New, Spring Starter Project. Let's name it Docker Boot, keep the build as Maven, packaging as Jar, Java version is 11. Let's keep rest of the defaults and click Next. We can choose the version of Spring Boot to use. We will use 2.3.1. Let's add the web dependency. Click Finish. Now, here is our project with the familiar Maven structure. Let us look at our Maven POM file. Here, you can see the Spring Boot 2.3.1 release, Java version, Spring Boot starter web dependency, which will do the MVC configuration for us, the starter test and compiler plugin. Here is our main file where we see the add Spring Boot application annotation. Let's create a controller package by right clicking and choosing new package, name it controller. Now right click and choose new class, call it my controller. Let's add the at rest controller annotation which simplifies the creation of rest web services. Let's fix the import. Using at request mapping, let's map the root URL to the following method which returns a string hello world. All right, let's run this by right clicking on the project and choosing run as spring boot application. From the console, we see that it has started an embedded Tomcat for us which is listening on port 8080. Let's go to the browser and type HTTP localhost 8080 and since our root URL is mapped to the REST controller, it returns back hello world. Alright, now let's see how to dockerize this app using the built-in Spring Boot support. Before we do that, let's go to the Maven file and make the artifact name in lower case. This probably is a bug which will be hopefully fixed soon, but having anything but lower case for the artifact name gives an error when creating the docker image. Alright, now let's right click and choose run as maven build and in the goal type spring boot build image. Click run. You can see from the console output that the project is being built. Now it is pulling the build pack image. Now it is creating the layered image and now finally the image is built. Let's go to the terminal and type docker images to see our existing images. Here is the build pack image and here is our docker image docker boot. Let's run it by issuing the command docker run hyphen it for interactive host port 8081 to the 8080 port of the docker container and then our docker image docker boot with the version. Alright, it gets started. Now let's go to the browser and type HTTP localhost 8081 and we see the hello world. Let me open another terminal and launch another docker container this time mapping it to the host port 8082. Again let's go to the browser and we see the hello world at port 8082 served from our second docker container. So it was pretty easy, right? In this video, we saw the built-in support for creating docker images starting with Spring Boot version 2.3. We created a docker image of our Spring Boot app and launched two docker containers. Thanks for watching.